there are lots of gases that can come out of volcanoes, and they sometimes are more of a silent and less obvious health hazard than things like a glowing lava flow that you know burns down a house or with explosive volcanic eruptions we have pyroclastic flows and glowing avalanches that can travel long distances the gases there's a variety of gases that can be released during eruptions for volcanoes like kilauea the main main gas of concern right now is sulfur dioxide it's a gas that's sometimes produced by industrial pollution as well and sulfur dioxide if you breathe it in the atmosphere, you breathe it in from the atmosphere, it can get in your lungs and it can bind with moisture in your lungs to produce sulfuric acid. And so that is, a, is a corrosive. It can be hard on your lung tissues in the short term. It's usually not a huge health risk in, in low concentrations in the short term. Repeated long-term exposures can start to cause um, problems with lung tissue, scarring in lung tissue, and can lead to more chronic illnesses. High doses in short term can be fatal. So um, you, you need to, if, if you're in a place where there are warnings about sulfur dioxide gases, you need to leave immediately. And um, sometimes you'll see people at volcanoes wearing these sort of small, thin uh, filters, uh, mask, filter masks. And sometimes those work okay for things like volcanic ash, but they will do nothing for sulfur gases. So you actually need a, a proper mask that has industrial filters to filter out some of these gases. And, and really, there's no reason to be in a place where you need to wear that. You just need to leave if you're in a place where the gases are in those concentrations. So best to avoid high concentrations, best to monitor the websites that are available. Um, there's several, probably a dozen or more uh, towns on the Big Island that have up-to-date monitoring of the uh, particulate and sulfur dioxide concentrations of the air. So they're very experienced with this, and, and so people in Hawaii are, are used to paying attention to this, used to having this as a, as a hazard. So when you go to visit, this is something that you wouldn't, might not normally deal with unless you live in a really big city that has a lot of air pollution. So you need to pay special attention, listen to what the locals are saying, looking to it, listen to what the civil protection agencies are saying about it. And the best thing to do is just avoid it. 